Let's move now to Cape Town, where there's a new crime-fighting unit in the city. Mayor Jordan Hill-Lewis launched the Highway Patrol Unit this afternoon. The 30-vehicle fleet will bolster visible policing in the metro, and it comes with state-of-the-art technology. NCS Nobisutu Ejana attended the launch. She joins us now. Uh, Nobisutu, I suppose any extra policing on any level is always to be welcomed, uh, but tell us why this specific unit uh, was launched, what was the need uh, that they are going to fill? Well, Sally, according to Cape Town Mayor Mr. Jordan Hill Lewis, he says about 35 million rands have been used uh, to procure and make sure that these vehicles are on the streets and are patrolling, assisting the, the traffic officials as well as leap officers on the roads when fighting crime. So he was saying that about 30 um, vehicles will be patrolling the roads or the highways in Cape Town in the mother city with uh, 25 police officers that have been specifically or specially trained for this particular work so this is to enhance um, patrol in the streets it's going to be a 24 7 or a 24 7 seven days a week where police officers or these highway patrol officers will be on the streets and we also heard from mr. JP Smith who is the MMC for safety and security in the city of Cape Town saying that the reason why they've targeted certain routes within the the mother city which will be the m um, the new way along kailicha and some of the parts within the m5 it's because they've seen quite a number of road fatalities and this is due to people who are either driving under the influence or people who are stealing um, cars hijacking so these vehicles will be specifically made or have been made to detect such cases if the car has been stolen or it was reported involved in a crime uh, with their new technology um, it will be able to scan the number plate or the registration plate where the officer driving that vehicle will be notified immediately and that driver will be apprehended we also heard from motorists who are saying that this is a new and improved that they uh, initiative that they are also um, quite happy about because there's been a lot of cases where cars have been hijacked in the Western Cape and people mostly most of the times they don't get their vehicles so with officers that will also be equipped with body cameras it's also going to assist I mean earlier when I spoke to mr. JP Smith was even saying that if you're found driving drunk in Cape Town that CCTV footage or the the footage that will be in that body camera will also be used in court if you are denying so anyone who's driving to Cape Town or is planning to make their way to Cape Town while well, they should be on the lookout because city of Cape Town officials are going to be strict on the roads but this is the uh, package that I filed Lawbreakers and infringers are no longer safe on Cape Town's highways anymore. This new high-tech fleet will patrol the city's roads 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. A rapid alert system will notify police when infringers and lawbreakers are detected. As these vehicles come past, it registers their, their registration number and it will tell the officer if there's any problem with this vehicle if it needs to be pulled over. This is really very cool cutting-edge technology that's going to make a big difference to the work that officers do in the city. Instead of just pulling over cars randomly and hoping to catch people, you can now actually pull over smartly uh, with intelligence that we know this is a vehicle that needs to be pulled over and there might be a criminal inside that vehicle. Cape Town Safety and Security MMC J.P. Smith says while the aim is to catch criminals on the road, Officers will also be out and about, equipped with body cameras. He says the routes to be patrolled have been strategically selected. If you're coming to Cape Town uh, to our roads day or night to drink or drive recklessly, you're going to encounter one of these guys and they're going to have to have a special surprise for you. Uh, so um, we will see at the end of this if uh, my belief is, is validated that we will have a reduced road fatalities. Many of our worst accidents happen at high speed on the freeways in the city, and that's why this highway patrol is going to concentrate on those major roads. Motorists are backing the move. It's a very good initiative. I mean, many families have lost loved ones on the road, you know, 
and uh, all the criminal activity, especially in the Western Cape, it's a high crime rate, you know, uh, where hijackings is concerned and people that are that are doing drugs along the way on, on, on routes, you know. So for them, it's a, uh, I'm glad they're doing this with the body cams and everything and uh, where they can check who has criminal records and, and who's wanted out there, you know, to make the public more safe. Refusing to seat idle, the city is already looking to expand the fleet to fan out across the metro. Nobesutu Cape Town.